These $200 swim goggles have a smart heads-up display built right into them. So as you're swimming, you can view all sorts of different metrics like your pace, distance, calories burned, and much more. In this video, I'll dive into an in-depth review of how these goggles work, exactly how the display looks while you're swimming, and if they're actually worth it. This is what the goggles look like. They're a bit on the heftier side because they need to support a battery, processor, gyroscope, and other electronics, all in a normal sized pair of swim goggles. But the fit is pretty good. They never leak on me, and I've gotten used to the slightly heavier weight. They're also very comfortable, and they come with adjustable nose bridges that I've never had to use. You charge the goggles with this satisfying magnetic charger. I found that one full charge takes a few hours and lasts you over a dozen hours, which is really solid. Even though there's a lot of electronics packed into these goggles, they're very sturdy. I've had these goggles for over half a year and I've dropped them on several occasions, but there's no signs of any scratches or other wear and tear. You're able to turn on the goggles via the power button on the side. These buttons also allow you to navigate the screens in the goggles. Let's take a look now at what you see when you wear the goggles. Once you turn on the goggles, you're brought to the home screen where you're able to start a swim workout or adjust the settings. Let's start a swim workout for now. The first thing you need to select is the pool size, so the goggles can keep track of your distance and pace. The goggles have all the common pool sizes built in, along with custom and unknown options. It'll then have you select between interval or lap swimming. Lap swimming is more if you swim laps without much of a plan, but I always do my swim workouts on intervals, so that's always the option I use. Once you confirm, you're ready to start swimming. Here's an example of the goggles tracking your acceleration to know when you've started swimming. The bar on the bottom of the screen will fill up as it detects sustained movement and suspects you are pushing off the wall. It'll then show a timer as you continue to move through the water. Once you stop at the wall, the goggles will detect your deceleration and give you your split time and other information that you've configured. This is pretty much exactly what the goggles look like under the water. The screen is pretty clear, although there's also some slight reflections that you get used to. The goggles also detect when you're doing a flip turn. The screen will freeze into one configurable display about information for the last length. And I found the goggles to be pretty accurate with determining when you start swimming, flip turn, and stop swimming. Sometimes the goggles may be 1-2 to two seconds off with when I push off the wall and when I stop, but most of the time it seems pretty spot on. I've learned to not shake my head or move too aggressively while resting at the wall, because that can trigger the goggles to think that you're swimming. The goggles aren't the best at detecting varying medley strokes, drills, or kicks, but that's something that I'm sure will improve as form gets more data in the coming years. Whenever you perform a sync between your phone and your goggles, you're also grabbing the most up-to-date software from form. So even after you purchase the goggles, you'll be able to receive regular software improvements to your goggles. You're able to connect your pair of goggles with your phone via Bluetooth. This lets you sync all of your workouts onto your phone. You can then view your exact workout and additional data analytics on the Form app. The highlights view shows you the exact sets you swam with your movement time and average pace per 100. This is a great way to track your fitness progress to see if you're hitting your goals. There's also bar graph views of your time spent swimming each stroke versus rest, distance per stroke, and your S-Wolf efficiency score. The goggles also estimate how many calories you burned. The list view contains a high level view of your workout with all of the data numbers. And the table view is a more detailed look into each set that you swam. Lastly, there's a stats view where you can see your weekly, year-to-date, and all-time swimming data. It's super satisfying to check back here after a week of hard training. Ever since I got these goggles last year, I've never done a swim workout without them. They are well designed, extremely useful, and very comfortable. I swim at a pool where there's only one pace clock and it's in this faint blue color that's really hard to see from the other side of the pool. So these goggles are a savior when it comes to doing sets on intervals. I also really like how you're able to sync your workouts from your goggles to your phone, so you're able to analyze your data and track your fitness levels. But is all of this worth the $200 price point compared to a normal pair of $20 goggles? For me personally, as someone who tries to swim one hour workouts somewhat regularly, yes, this was 100% worth it. This has been a complete game changer for me and it definitely motivates me to go swim. After using these goggles for so long, 
It's really hard for me to imagine swimming without them. However, if you don't swim as often, or if you don't find the built-in screen as useful, these goggles might not be for you. It's also good to note that there are some inaccuracies with the drilling, kicking, and stroke identification that will hopefully be ironed out in future updates. What I do want to say is that if you hadn't heard of these goggles, or you were on the fence before, I definitely recommend you check them out. Feel free to put any questions in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you all found this review helpful, and see you all in the pool!